So let's look at example number three that deals with the universal law of gravitation. So let's begin. Now we want to find the gravitational constant G on top of Mount Everest, which is 8,850 meters above sea level. So let's look at our diagram. So this is our Earth, which has a radius of 6,380 kilometers. And this is our mountain, which has a height of 8.85 kilometers. So we want to find G, but what is G? G is simply the acceleration of our objects dropped at the top of the mountain. So we want to find what that G is on top of the mountain. Now this G will be different than the G on the surface of the earth. And that's because there's a height difference of H of 8.85 kilometers. And we want to see how much different the G is from the G on the surface of the earth. So we begin by looking at our universal law of gravitation. So force is equal to gravitational constant, 6.67 times 10 to negative 11 uh, meters cubed divided by kilograms times uh, second squared. This is our mass. <coughs> this is our mass of some object placed on top of the mountain, and this is the mass of the entire Earth divided by the distance between the object and our center of the earth squared. So, note that force is simply mass times acceleration. So, we equate this to mass of the object that we drop on top of the mountain multiplied by its acceleration. So, and we're actually looking for this acceleration. So now we want to just focus on these two uh, right and left sides. So, notice that this side has a common term and this side has a common term. So let's divide both sides by the mass of our object. So we divide by mass of our object and we get our acceleration on top of the mountain is equal to the gravitational constant times the mass of the earth divided by the distance between the top of the mountain and the center of the earth squared. So, to find my acceleration, I simply plug in my values. So my G constant is 6.67 times 10 to negative 11 meters cubed divided by kilograms times second squared multiplied by the mass of the earth, which you can look up online, 5.98 times 10 to 24 kilograms divided by. Now notice this is given kilometers. We have to convert this to meters because this guy and this guy both need to be in meters because this, uh, our G, our units of G uh, include meters and not kilometers. So. We basically convert this guy by multiplying by 1,000 because there are 1,000 meters in a single kilometer. We get 6,380,000 meters plus 8,850 meters squared equals, you plug that into the calculator and we find our G on top of this mountain, on top of Mount Everest, <coughs> is 9.77 meters per second squared. Now this amount is less than what we see our G to be on the surface of the Earth, which is 9.81 meters per second second. So objects on top of this mountain accelerate with less magnitude than they do on the surface of the Earth. 